In this worked example, I'm going to show how you use the Lorentz transform to actually work out something. In this case, how long it would feel like going to Mars. So let's imagine you have a spaceship travelling at 98% of the speed of light, so 0.98c. And it's going from the Earth to Mars. And that distance, of course, the distance between the Earth and Mars varies depending where they are in their orbits. So let's say it's about 10 to the 11 meters at this particular time. And we'll assume it's going in a straight line for sake of simplicity. Now, the question is how long is it going to take to get there as perceived by the astronauts on board the spaceship? Now there are two frames of reference here. One frame of reference is the frame of reference of the Earth and Mars. The other frame of reference is a frame of reference of the people on the spaceship. And there are two events. It's called, it's called Event 1, which is when we, the spacecraft leaves the Earth, and Event 2, when it reaches Mars. So let's look at what's going on in the two frames of reference. So in the Earth frame of reference, Event 1 happens at time naught, so let's say t equals naught. It doesn't matter what we call it, so let's call it 0 to make it simple. And we'll call that position 0, x equals 0. Then event 2, when the spaceship hits Mars. Now in our frame of reference of the Earth, we know how long that's going to take, because it's travelling at 0.98c, it's going to go a distance of 10 to the 11 metres. So that's going to be, let's call that the distance, it's just going to be the distance divided by its velocity, and x is going to be the distance, 10 to the 11 meters. OK, so that's the Earth's frame of reference, and that's very straightforward. Now let's think about the spaceship's frame of reference. Now let's assume that they synchronize clocks when they leave, so the time in the spaceship's frame is also going to be zero and we'll assume that their spaceship, they measure position relative to the middle of the spaceship, so x is also going to be zero when it leaves. Now when the spaceship gets to Mars, we don't know what the time's going to be, because the time measured by the spaceship is going to be different. So that's unknown, let's call it t Mars. However, the position x is still going to be zero, because when it's here, let's say that's the centre, that's lined up with the Earth, when it's over there, the centre is lined up with Mars, so the x-coordinates as measured by the spaceship are the same at the beginning and the end. So we've got the two different events in the two different frames of reference, and what we want to find out is how long it took from the spaceship's point of view. Now we have to decide which of these two frames we're going to call the normal frame, which we're going to call the prime frame. It doesn't matter, it'll be either way around. Um, let's call the Earth frame the prime, so we'll call these ones the primes. In that case, the Lorentz transform tells us that T prime equals gamma T plus Vx over C squared. So at the start, event 1, t prime should be 0, equals gamma t, t is 0, plus vx over c is x is 0, it's 0 equals 0, good. The crucial bit is event 2, so event 2, we know that t prime equals d over v, and that's going to be gamma t mars plus, oh, this is vx over c, but this is x is not x prime, it's x as measured by the spaceship, so that's going to be 0, so that's v times 0 over c squared. So what we find out is that d over v equals gamma t mars. So the time needed to, in the spaceship's frame of reference to get to Mars, t mars, is going to be equal to d over v times 1 over gamma. 
So what that's telling us is the time needed to get to Mars as perceived by the spaceship is this, which is the time needed to get to Mars as perceived by the Earth, divided by gamma. Now this d over v, that's 10 to the 11 divided by 0 0.98c, um, is about 5.5 minutes. What's gamma? Gamma equals 1 over root 1 minus v over c squared, so which is about 5. So instead of taking 5 minutes, it takes about 1 minute in the spaceship's frame of reference. So from us, it takes 5 minutes to get to Mars. If you're on the spaceship, it only takes 1 minute.